But let's talk about the two teams that I dropped into the Super Bowl there. Yeah. This Dallas Cowboys defense is being compared to the great defenses of the past. The defenses that are in the Hall of Fame, the ones that NFL films write stories about and documentaries about, and people refer to as, these people are the best since. Boom. Mm -hmm. Enter name mm -hmm. of team here. Do you think Dallas Cowboys are going to end the season this way? Too incredibly hot start. Yeah. yeah. Micah said this is year three in the system with Dan Quinn. Do you think this is the year they go with this thing? I mean, Micah is a monster. And in, in the conversation for, I mean, obviously you got Mahomes, but in the conversation for best player in general in the league right now, he just plays at a different speed. And on every level, they just fly around in the back end. Yeah, Hooker, you got Gilmore they added, Javon Diggs, everybody making plays. Once they get up on you, like, I mean, it's tough sledding for that old line and that quarterback, whoever it is. Now they have started off against Daniel Jones, Zach Wilson, think what five points per game right now? They're on the pace right now. So, uh, but every everything's pointing in the right direction. Mike McCarthy got him buzzing on offense, and they're in a position where don't have to do a bunch. Can be balanced, and that's tough for a defense. If they can hand it off to a running back. The play action's alive. The shots down the field. CD's lambs is unbelievable. So, um, everything is clicking for them right now. Uh, I wouldn't put them above the San Francisco 49ers just mm -hmm. yet, though. In the NFC, great style. game yesterday with the Rams. Yeah, I mean, yeah. great game yeah. with the Rams yesterday. Matthew Stafford was doing his thing. Bosa isn't 100 percent back. We don't think. Only had one tackle for loss yesterday. One tackle for loss, uh, but he did lead them in quarterback pressures or hits with three. Hey, Fred, watching Fred play Dude, football, he is a man. Monster. His face mask. So much fun. A monster. He's got good hang time, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hair getting real mm -hmm. long. Oh, yeah. Real. That's what I noticed yesterday as he was flying mm -hmm. around there. He is so much fun to watch. You're right. Rams, though, gave him a test. And I think, yeah. like, the Rams, Surprising. you know. Solid. It, I think so, right? Better than we than we thought, yeah. for sure. The joke is that he decided to cover with four seconds left. Yeah. But yeah. also, the conversation should be, hey, Sean McVay is doing probably his most coaching, and his Puka Nakua. Oh, boy. Puka Nakua is always open. I know they call people 7-Eleven and things like that, but it feels like this guy legitimately always open. And Matthew Stafford loses Cooper Cup because of a hamstring potential genetic issue, I guess is how they're describing oh, oh. it. So who knows if that's ever going to happen. Him and Cooper Cup are always on the same page. Him and Puka Nakua yeah. always on the same page. Yeah. Puka Nakua got injured last year, I do believe, at BYU. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't really, I think there wasn't a lot of hype around Puka coming into the NFL. And then as soon as he gets on the same field with Matthew Stafford in actual NFL games, has the most amount of receptions through the first two games for any rookie, pretty much, with yeah. 20. And I get also... Most targets, too. Most targets 30. at 30. So think about how trustworthy Stafford and he, I mean, he yeah. trusts him yeah. a lot. This dude has been a shining star early in this NFL season. I think the Rams as a whole have certainly outperformed what we all assumed was going to take yeah. place with a team that's very young, third or fourth youngest team. But they do have Matthew Stafford, who's, hey, he was moving yesterday. Oh, he's yeah. right out there. Yeah. Hey. Young. When he, I mean, he was. Yeah, high, high knees. Huh? Are you kidding me? He's out in L.A., probably working with his body guru. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. He's doing that same stuff that Tom Brady's doing, who's running on the let's go thing with mm -hmm. no limp at whatever age he's at. He just looks good. Matthew Stafford was moving around yesterday, which I think is what surprised me most because that San Francisco 49ers defense yeah. yep. normally doesn't allow that type of stuff. And that's not certainly the defense that you want to do that against either because they hit too hurt. Yeah. So I think we learned a lot about the Rams. I don't have the Niners up there just because it hasn't been as dominant, which takes us back to the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I said uh you know I on this microphone right here. Well, oh yeah, I think we I think we remember. What was it? Uh, we we remember. At least we in the north and the east. Okay. So into this microphone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I remember now. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Do you remember what happened? Yeah. So the Jets beat the Buffalo Bills. It was a great yeah. win. Yeah, that's it right. It was an incredible win. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. They lost Aaron on uh, play four yeah. Of, yeah. of his tenure as the New York Jets, which he he said on Friday, he's he's got sights Eyes on, you know, returning this year, and hell yeah. Yes, he does. And on Tuesday, after they get that big win over the Buffalo Bills without Aaron, uh -huh. in a new Zach Wilson that I'd seen on Hard Knocks and yeah. what I thought Zach Wilson was, because remember Hard Knocks preseason, he's running, oh, yeah. Yeah. shaking, uh -huh. grooving, talking Killing shit, down mm -hmm. the sideline. Doing his, hanging out with his teammates. Mm -hmm. and he's doing that whole thing. So on Tuesday, after they beat the Bills without yeah. Aaron, and Zach Wilson kind of gets handed the baton, I don't know, two years earlier yeah. than what everybody thinks, I said, you know what? What's that? Because of how good that defense is, <laughs> they're so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that offense, because of how weapons they have, what I've seen uh -huh. out of Zach Wilson, Dalvin Cook getting out in a wow. breeze. Oh, he's over me? there. Okay. I, even without Aaron, mm -hmm. the Jets are going to make the playoffs. Yes, you did. So I said, right here, into this microphone. You weren't the only one. And there, well, yeah, I did realize that there was other people that were like, I don't think he's wrong. Like, there, was, there were people amplifying yeah. what I was saying. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, listen, Preach. What, this guy's saying, a lot of people <laughs> are saying that. Okay. And I'm like, oh, now I'm the hot take guy all of a sudden who's on ESPN. Holy hell, I've sold out. I've changed. Uh -huh. And then I was like, you know what? 
I do believe it. Trust them. Mm-hmm. In the moment, I believed it. Right now, I believe it. Right. And then I watch them. Right now, oh, I no. do not believe that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Things have okay. changed okay. a little bit. Exactly. Uh-huh. But good. it was the Dallas Cowboys defense, sure. yeah. which has become a little bit of an issue. And then you think back a week before that, they took on the New York football Giants, and they looked abysmal. Holy hell, six quarters straight, we got no points. Cool. Bruce Brown, who's in the back, diehard New York Giants fan, he had scored the same amount of points as the New York football Giants in an NFL game. <laughs> uh, that's right. Literally, yeah. it was just yeah. hanging there for everybody on the internet to say. They stunk. Then they go into halftime. Holy hell. Unbelievable. They played football again. New yeah. team. Saquon Barkley was running like angry. You look mm-hmm. at, there was a couple of deflections off Saquon hands, one of them for a pick and everything. It wasn't really hitting much. And then in the second half, they oh. looked like the team that we saw in the second half of last season. Yeah. I will wonder now if the Giants go on and do what we all expect them to expected them to do at the beginning of the season they going to be good at football. Darren Waller getting in there. Right. He was getting hit. I mean that that team Appeared to be good yesterday in the second half. Massive comeback win over a team that I think we all thought would just get railroaded. Let's go to this block that Bill Belichick brought into last night's game that will certainly be chatted about for other people to try, but I think this is a situations or situational Mm -hmm. type operation. So first of all, what needs to happen here is there has to be an indicator that would send old schooler who ends up blocking this kick. Here, let's just run through it here. So for those that didn't see it, Standard operating procedure. Here's a field goal. Okay, need to have it. Sanders, great kicker. Holder, Jake Bailey, formerly of the New England Patriots, will be a piece of information. And score comes off the edge. Perfectly timed. Canadian Football League on the run. Arena League on the run. Doesn't cross the line of scrimmage. And as the ball moves, he goes. Guy has no chance of blocking him. Now, let's look at it from the wide view here. That's my play. We will get to that. (laughs) Let's get to the wide view here. So you see him standing all the way out there. What's he eyeballing? Mm -hmm. Well, he's looking at the holder. He's not looking at the snapper. You see, there would be a chance he'd be looking this way. Because the snapper might give something away. So there are times where a snapper, right before he'll snap, he'll either lift his head up or lift his head down, and then he'll throw the ball. It's like a a twitch almost, Mm -hmm. like something that just happens in it. So there are times where you do that. But instead, this time, they are looking directly at the holder. Okay, so then you got to think, well, what is the indicator? Well, it had to be something with the holder that would tell Schooler to go on a sprint and change the entire game. So let's go back to that back view, shall we? Let's watch the holder, right? Because Schooler already told us that we're watching the holder. Keep an eye out here, okay? He's going to look back at Sanders, ask Sanders if he's ready, and then very slightly he is going to go with a deep breath seemingly. <sighs> okay. Oh, yeah. That's what it's going to look like. Subtle. That's what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. So keep your eyes peeled to this man's head, okay? This holder's head. Watch it. See that? Right there. Did you see it? Wow. Wow. Did you see it? That's small. I seen it. Did you see it? I seen it. (laughs) Okay, now that you've seen it, We'll look at it from the other angles. Little bit of a head dip. It feels like it's almost like it's a breath out, like a breathing air out. Yep. And that sends schooler, okay? So you have to think to yourself, well, how in the hell would they know this? Well, this guy right here was the punter and holder for the New England Patriots for how many years? I believe five or six years. So Bill Belichick probably watching self-scout going, how has nobody picked up on (laughs) the fact that this guy does this? So the first time he has the opportunity to do it, watch it, breathe, go, schooler, off the edge. It's literally as small as that. It's a minor little detail that if you – See it, I would assume it'd be too obvious, yeah. but there's not a lot of people that are going to be able to find that particular tell. Nope. There's always been tells for like what the snap's going to be on. For this instance, it's when the hand opens. And that's mm-hmm. normally for these people out here on the edge, like, hey, you can get a jump if the holder mm-hmm. does a hand thing, you can see it. But to go next level, that's that chess thing. You know, that's mm-hmm. playing chess. That's mm-hmm. a move ahead of a move. This is a tell that we can get a little bit more leverage, a little bit more speed. It's absolutely brilliant. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Saw it. Boom. Bang. How about oh. Miles Bryant off of this edge being like, oh, we got this. And he fl- he, cause he and he goes out as if it's going to get blocked that way so he could scoop and score that way. They they knew. like oh, yeah. They knew that was coming. I assume they rep this 
no lie, 30 to 40 times. If you have a tell that is that good, mm -hmm. that is not going to change. Because there is, and obviously I showcased this a little bit earlier, but like we had one, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know how I know? Because Bill did this to us on an extra point. Jamie, right over top. How you oh, doing? I'm Scariest right. night of my life. Gotcha. It was oh insane. So he had something on me. Okay. So obviously I had to change. I had to change <laughs> yeah, some yeah, stuff. Fast. We started snapping on one, on two, on three. We started doing different movements. I started moving my head a little bit. But anytime you see a guy jumping as high as he is right in front of your face, I mean, look at me. I'm still, I'm not even looking at the ball. Sure, you can see him. <laughs> I'm not yeah. even looking at the ball. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute here. There's a little dump potentially spray out the bottom there. I, I'm trying to figure out what to do in a moment. You pull that thing? Or? Well, bingo. Fire. That's but All right, the, fire. Them what? Imagine I do that Adam Vinatieri. Adam Vinatieri, what, he yeah, rips right. his hamstring? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what? Or Jimmy yeah. Collins rips your head off? He's got to beat Devin McCourty one-on-one -on -one in open field. I literally. <laughs> I think it was more than McCourty over there. Yeah, Patrick Chung. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing on that block, too, was on fourth and uh, fourth and ten. So, just in case, oh, boy, jumps it and gets offside, you're still kicking oh. the field goal. You don't give him a free first down. So, mm -hmm. Belichick got this in the bag. He's not going to pull out on fourth and four. It's as small as that, though. Those are like the fine details that I think if you played football in high school, like I got a lot of respect for you. I appreciate the hell out of you. Uh, you play, you love football. Mm -hmm. Okay, We get it. We love football, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you play in college, it's a little bit more, like just a little bit more. Like, OK, we're going to start doing this stuff to kind of confuse these people. Well, they're in this coverage, so that means we should check to this because we'll beat this. Then in the NFL, it's like, OK, if they're in this coverage, we got to force them to get into this coverage so then that we can do this. It's like there's just levels to this thing whenever it comes to focusing and dialing in, and sometimes it's as little as a guy exhaling and being <laughs> like, yep, we got three seconds once he... So, Schooler, you got to time this up. Yeah. And I legitimately believe that they would have repped this so many times for him to make sure that timing is perfect because a blocked kick is a massive ordeal oh, yeah. in a game. It wasn't enough to get a win over the Dolphins. No, no. no. Which makes me go back to saying the Dolphins are the truth.